All right, hey, Shalom, Makiyam. First and foremost, I give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakak Vadash, the bonds to your apostles and elders, a great millstone. And we are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Simo Indians, West Indians, and Haitians. And according to Holy Scriptures, we're God's chosen people. Shalom to all the beloved brothers out there, pushing his knowledge and sincerity and truth. Shalom to the few sisters, and Shalom to Israelite foreigners who are scattered abroad. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they're going to be called Jesus Christ, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. All right. And what you're looking at is a true depiction of the one they're going to be called God, the one they're going to be called Jehovah, whose real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. When you call upon the Most High and the Son, you must say Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh means he is the existing one. By Hashem means in the name. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. The Wadi Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for another blessed day, another day to fight. Lord one to the very end. So coming back at you with another lesson through the Holy Spirit. And we are truly powered by the Holy Spirit because earlier today, I was like, man, you know, what can I, you know, what, what kind of show can I do for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to edify the elect? And, you know, hours later, you know, checking the net, one of the beloved brothers posted this up. And this is a heavy topic, man. I don't know whoever this rapper is, but it says Cooley P breaks oath, exposing killing agenda in rap. Hollywood equals slavery. Peep it. Cooley P exposed the killing agenda in rap. In my lyrics, I get real lyrical. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't about the lyrics no more. And so you feel like then we forced to dumb it down. Now. Yeah, I'm forced to dumb my, I had to dumb my music down. You feel me? Because if I write, it's going to be, you know what I'm saying? Too deep for him. You don't want Unk, nobody don't want to hear that unk. You feel me? <laughs> it's more than just the music now. Man, man shit. Modern day slave, man. These crowd goes, they got us what? They got us right now. They got us right now. Well, y'all gotta be talking about killing each other for us to give you some money. You gotta be, well, you gotta be, you gotta be fucking up your community to get you some money. You gotta fuck up. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta you gotta supply the chain game for this money. You gotta send all your, you gotta send everybody in your world to prison for us to be fucking with you. You, you brothers hear that, man? So it led me to uh, among my people. All right, among my people. So all you different celebrity rap stars with this gangster rap drill music. They're leading your ass to death. Leading you astray. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 5 verse 26. For among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that uh, set it snares. They set a trap. They catch men. So all your, your top rappers, you know, top entertainers. This is what they're doing to you, man. You understand what that young man just said? That's facts. Only way they will give you money, millions of dollars, that you got to be a destructive force to your own people while you live an alternate lifestyle. You understand? Because we are in a war. Okay, this is a spiritual war, a heavy spiritual holy war. All right? Where um, good, good is set against evil and evil is set against good. The elect of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, those they are, are the spirits that he's using to combat the wicked. You understand? That's how serious it is, and, and pretty much Jacob versus Esau. Okay? Esau wants his birthright back. But it's, it's, you know, it's already been predestined, preordained who that birthright is going to. So they're in power right now, and they know who you are, and they know. And now we know that who, who they are. The prophets are back through the Holy Spirit throughout the four corners of the earth. And Lord willing, I am. So, so the, the gears, you know, the year of the turn up, things are being turned up. And things are more, everything is escalating. The more truth is coming out. Come up out of her, my people. Okay? So the elect is getting sealed up. That small remnant. You got to send your youth to prison. Cause that's all they doing. 
That's all they doing. Sending us to prison. Sending these young niggas to prison. Come on, man. I know they got a contract with them somewhere. So this, from that, it led me to um, this uh, this documentary that came out a couple of years ago, the Thirteenth Amendment, because that's a culture that's being pushed in the Israelite community about manhood and going to jail and all that shit, and that's all bullshit, man. There's one big psychological operation upon you because you're lost. You don't have, you don't know who you are. You don't know your heritage. A lot, a lot of us can grow up with our, you know, parents. You know, so you 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 you're prone to to be be caught up in, in a lot of nonsense, man, a lot of wickedness. And a lot of a lot of Israelite men out here got caught up. So for us brothers, man, we yo, man, growing up in, in, in America in Babylon, and this this is the odds that's set against you, because the music has totally been changed to a to a death a death culture geared towards Israel. All right, starting off with the head tribes, okay, and that's all you hear. You see, so that that's that that's the reason why that's happening. They they want you back in jail, want you back in slavery. Peep this. On bars, shackle in. One out of four human beings with their hands on bars, shackle in the world are locked up here in the land of the free. Khalif Browder was walking home from a party when he was stopped by police. Then they said, we're going to take you to the precinct and most likely we're going to let you go home. And then I never went home. The 13th Amendment to the Constitution makes it unconstitutional for someone to be held as a slave. There are exceptions, including criminals. The loophole was immediately exploited. What you got after that was a rapid transition to a mythology of black criminality. Some people got the real problem. Animals, beasts that needed to be controlled. You better believe it. I'm only human. It became virtually impossible for a politician to run and appear soft on crime. The kinds of kids that are called super predators. Millions of dollars will be allocated for prison and jail facilities. Three strikes and you are out. It was an enormous burden on the black community, but it also violated a sense of core fairness. Some people got the real the states were required to keep these prisons filled, even if nobody was committing a crime. It's so difficult to talk about mass incarceration because it has become heavily monetized. The focus is on taking people from prison, putting them in community corrections, parole and probation. How much progress is it really if now there's a private company making money off the GPS monitor? now have more African Americans under criminal supervision than all the slaves back in the 1850s. We are the products of the history that our ancestors chose. Products of that set of choices that we have to understand in order to escape from it. Man. Man, oh man. So, that, that's very uh, thought-provoking. You gotta count your blessing, you being an Israelite male out here with this truth. Because the Most High has, has, has truly blessed you, man. Truly blessed myself and, and the Wadi Yahweh Bashim Shah every day. Because this is truly the valley of the shadow of death, and we are in the war. Okay, and a lot of a lot of Jakes they don't know that. So they so they they are a prey, like the scriptures say. And you're gonna find out why. Okay, these things that has happened to us and hap and and is happening. Okay. Because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments. All right? We strayed away from our power. And this is all prophecy, according to the scriptures. Isaiah chapter 42, verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes. They are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey and none deliver it. For a spoil and, and none say it. Restore. The Israelites, man, and this prison system is dealing with America, all right, which leads to, you know, where we are today as a people, all right. America is is a, a is a education, 
One great education from Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. This is what happens when you break the laws, man. Okay? N-O-T, but his own people have been robbed and plundered and enslaved and prison and trapped. That's America. And in this system, these are the things that happen to us. You're robbed, plundered, been enslaved, imprisoned, trapped. They are, they are fair game for anyone and have no one to protect them. No one to take them back home, back home. Where is home? Israel. So he's dealing with this whole system, this B system, the American system. On the Esau, you see? But this was this is what these things are happening are supposed to happen. This is prophecy. There is hope. The Heavenly Father set up the elect. Okay? The, the uh the um the chief no no not the chief cornerstones, man. Um it's another word. Oh man, the, the, the tower of the flock. The tower of the flock. And you on that tower with the, the watchman is upon that tower. It says, who among you will give ear to this? Who will hearken and hear for the time to come? Here we are. Okay. The elect has been given this offer. The elect are the ones, sent, you know, putting up these sacrifices, man. Lord willing, the chosen. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. The prophets. Okay. Leviticus 26 and 40 said the Heavenly Father has given us a, to confess, to, to, to get right, you know, to the best of our ability. Repent. Leviticus 26 and 40. If they shall confess their iniquity and the iniquity of their fathers with their trespass, which they have trespassed against me, and that also they have walked contrary unto me. So we were once a mind, man. This is why we're in this predicament. We have been walking contrary against our God, our power. And that I also have walked contrary unto them. This is why we are in this predicament. And have brought them into the land of their enemies. If then their un uh, if then their un uncircumcised hearts be humble. Humble your fucking self, man. Starts in your mind. And what was what's is in your mind protrude, protrudes out your mouth. You know, fast, pray. I think that's how you fight this flesh. And they and they then accept of the punishment of their iniquity. So yes, Yahweh by Shimi Shai. We get it. Brothers get it, man. That's why things are moving so fast, because the elect is, has been woken up. You see? Those souls out there, we get it. And we we cry to the most high. We are praying. We're teaching whoever they are. <laughs> then will I remember my covenant with Jacob and also my covenant with Isaac and also my covenant with Abraham. And I will remember, I will remember the land. Oh my goodness. You see that, bros? So we almost out this bitch. So the elect is the one that has given hearken unto this thing. That's why. We out here teaching, doing what the hell we got to do. Brotherhood, brotherhood, brotherhood. All right. Love, um, honor all men, love the brotherhood. You know, love thy neighbor as thyself. These are the key things that's bringing us back. Because this culture, this American culture is to has taught us nothing but death and destruction. A lot of our people got caught up in those evil ways. It says, who gave Jacob for a spoil in Israel to the robbers or enemies or the robbers? Spoil is to be, you know, brought down low, plundered, destroyed. Did not Yahweh, he against whom we have sinned? For they would not walk in his ways, neither were they obedient unto his law. So that's why, you know, we, we the Heavenly Father preserve a small remnant to come up out of this thing. And through his the blood of the lamb and those that has that exemption from punishment, things are going to go back to a righteous estate upon the planet. Once Yahweh shall I come and take down our enemies and redeem and save the elect. Shalom.